August 15, 1945, the emperor of Japan Empire at that time, they fully accept the requirements of Bosnian protocol, right? So from the perspective of international law, Taiwan back to China in 1945. Later on, Taiwan separated with mainland China, not because the invasion of other country, not because of the uh, impact of international law, but because of civil war. Uh, you may know between 1946 to 1949, in China, we have a very uh, tragic situation. At that time, the two major parties, one is the Communist Party of China, one is Nationalist Party of China. Uh, they fight each other. Uh, we fell into a civil war. And the result of this civil war is that uh, Kuomintang, the Soviet uh, Nationalist Party of China, they fled to Taiwan. Then leads to the separation of Taiwan with mainland China until today, right? So basically speaking, now Taiwan and mainland China separated for a while because civil war is a result of civil war. And both sides, uh, during uh, when Kuomintang ran in Taiwan, uh, both sides declared they represented the whole China. But uh, in recent years, when DPP, Democratic Progressive Party of Taiwan, came into power, they changed the attitude. They changed their political position. They tend to legally uh, separate Taiwan from whole China. That's something not acceptable uh, from Beijing's perspective. So that's why in recent years, the relations across Taiwan Street become very unstable. But uh, up to date, the leaders in Beijing, their position looks like this. Uh, China will be unified, but Beijing side put peaceful unification on the very top. Although uh, mainland China owns obvious military advantage, Beijing now owns a choice of use of force to unify China. But up to date, the leaders in Beijing still put peaceful unification on the very top, right? So that's the main reason why, uh, the, although the cross-Taiwan street relations has problem, but the, the situation around the Taiwan is still quite peaceful. But with very recent political change uh, in Taipei, Lai Qingde, who publicly claimed he is a Taiwan separatist, with Lai Qingde, this Taiwan separatists came into power. Then the situation now facing some danger. And um, makes thing worse is that although Taiwan issue basically is an internal issue of China, because as I mentioned, it's a result of a civil war. But at the very beginning, the United States involved in China's civil war. You know, during the civil war, between 1946 to 1949, U.S. backed Kuomintang, backed the Nationalist Party of China, right? So to some extent, the U.S. involved the China's civil war. And uh, after Kuomintang fled to Taiwan, the U.S. gave full support to Taiwan, including military support. So that makes the situation very complicated. Legally speaking, Taiwan issue is an issue of Chinese internal affairs. But because this historical reason, the U.S. is a party involved in this game. And on U.S. side, I think uh, the quite high percentage of U.S. strategy want to play the card of Taiwan against mainland China. Although the U.S. side still promised to so-called one China policy. On the, you know, they, they, they give the cheap, uh, give service every day. Uh, they, they, they said that we were loyal to one China policy. But their behavior betrayed their promise, you know. Their behavior is to encourage Taiwan to separate. So that makes uh, the leaders in, in Beijing in a very awkward situation. As I mentioned, 
de- Beijing determined to unify the whole China. That's a promise to the whole nation. On any circumstances, Beijing will not give up this stance. We will unify the whole China. Now the new situation in Taiwan in U.S. forced Beijing authority to give more serious consideration of a non-peaceful unification. So that makes the situation looks uh, more, much more dangerous than before. As all know, uh, this year, 2024, uh, is the general election year of the United, United States, right? And uh, compared to previous uh, election, uh, this year the partisan politics is really get worse, right? Democrats, Biden side, they legally sued uh, the former president, uh, Donald Trump, and put Trump in a very uh, dangerous situation. On the other side, the Republican side, you know, more quite a lot, the Republican supporters become more and more enthusiastic to support the Donald Trump. So the split of a partisan politics is really get worse. Whether this election can end in a peaceful way, we don't know. As for the result, you know, from Chinese perspective, uh, there is no substantial differences between the two candidates. As for Taiwan, I think um, no substantial differences. Both of them will play the card of Taiwan. So both of them will lead to this re- the result that they will force our leader in Beijing to make the decision in the near future. I personally believe uh, within five years, uh, there will be no Taiwan issue. You know? We resolve that. Nobody can stop China. You know? So, <laughs> because uh, we will resolve Taiwan issue by use of force, that means there will be no one state, two system. <laughs> no arrangement like Hong Kong. You know? Just uh, one state, one system. You know? So that will be, be the result. So Taiwan people look funny. <laughs> they refuse the one state, two system arrangement, right? That means finally they can only face in one fate, uh, one state, one system. <laughs> I think that that's will be the future end. 姐妹们总烦恼脸上细纹干燥与暗沉，现在起跟我一起放心交给KS Royal Face。皇家颜值逆时奇迹系列 KS Royal Face 皇家颜值逆时奇迹系列 它添加5种EGF 专门防止肌肤老化强化皮肤修复增加肌肤弹性水嫩轻松抚平皱纹换回青春自信 KS Royal Face 皇家颜值逆时奇迹 Hopefully, Chen Chao Jing Hua, Jing Hua Shu, Ji Ke Chi Dong, Dong Ling Mi Ma.